This video demonstrates how to quickly and easily attach an SQS valve actuator to a 599 series PowerMite MT valve body. The products and tools needed to mount the actuator to the valve body are a 599 series PowerMite valve body, an SQS 65 series electronic valve actuator, a one and a quarter inch open end wrench, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and a flat blade screwdriver. The 599 PowerMite MT series valve body will accept both the SSC and the SQS series of electronic actuators. Which actuator is used depends on job requirements. The assembly of the SQS actuator to the PowerMite valve body requires minimal tools. First, make sure that the manual positioning knob on the actuator is at the zero or retracted position. Place the SQS actuator on the valve and hand tighten the coupling. Once the threads have engaged, securely tighten the coupling with the wrench. The valve and actuator are now correctly mounted. For the SQS actuator, the manual override allows us to manually open or close the valve as needed when power or a control signal is not present. By turning the manual positioning knob, we can position the actuator to any position between 0 and 1. The actuator will hold its manual set position until a control signal is received. A control signal takes priority over any set manual position. Since valve bodies can be normally open or normally closed, it is important to remember that the zero position takes the valve to its normal position. This video demonstrates wiring of the SQS65U to a controller that uses a 0 to 10 VDC control signal. First, remove the cover of the SQS actuator using the screwdriver. Now we can begin wiring the terminal block. There are multiple connections on the terminal block. These are determined by the system application. In this demonstration, we will be using a 0 to 10 VDC control signal with output for remote position indication. For a 0 to 10 VDC control signal, we will need to terminate four wires to the terminal block. Connect G to the 24 volt AC hot terminal. Connect G0 to the 24 volt AC neutral terminal. Connect Y to the 0 to 10 VDC control terminal. For our remote position indication, we will connect the U terminal, which is a 0 to 10 VDC output for position indication. Replace the cover of the actuator and tighten the screws. The same terminations should be made at the controller, or in this case, the commissioning tool. As we apply a control signal using the commissioning tool, we can see the actuator dial rotating in response to the applied control signal.